V8, built as a race car, makes an ideal fast road car. I drove this car 100 miles on Wednesday, uh, comfortable, really responsive, nice bit of kit actually, not too harsh, very, very quick, very powerful, handles beautifully, it's very well sorted and it's had a fortune spent on it. There's invoices just for the mechanical drivetrain for £20,000. Uh, the engine build by Connell Engines cost uh, 14000 It's got a limited slip diff. It's got a rebuilt gearbox. All uprated sp suspension and braking. It was a money, no object build. Comes with some spares. Comes with a good history file. Gauges are working, speedos accurate, electric fans, the seats are comfy, the steering wheel is, I can get in and out of it, but uh, I'm fairly slim, that is removable, so it is easy to get in and out of. Um, got the five point harness, got a cage in the back, so it's, it is only a two seater, but it's a comfortable two seater, there's plenty of room in there. But um, if you look at the detailing, how it's been done, Really, really well done. All the right bits on it. Has been scrutineered. Make a great track day car. So, got a extinguisher system in there. Uh, fuel tank is just under there. It's very easily accessible, he says. There we go. That's all in there. Um, I put 40 quid in and it's done 100 miles and it's still showing half a tank so it sips it so I'll do some pictures underneath but you can't see a lot because it's quite low but Super clean under there. Everything is new and rebuilt. As I say, it has had a fortune spent on it. High spec brakes on the front, you can see those on there. I think they're high spec. Still got the drums on the back, but they are very powerful. Um, Toyo tyres all round, Toyo proxy, so it it does stick like glue. Very sweet engine in there. So it's built by Connell, they know their stuff. Look at the manifolds. This engine bay just reeks of uh, large expenditure. love the power bulges as well what a mean look fabulous so it's set up for road use and um, the last owner was an engineer he's been right through this and uh, finally fettled and tuned it she's on the button easy to drive can take it anywhere sits in traffic comfortably clutch is not too heavy I've been in some cars like this and uh, they're they're horrible to drive this is easy to drive very, very usable. So there we go. Awesome bit of kit. Fastest MG I've ever driven. Would put a smile on anyone's face. That I can guarantee.